As you might have heard that last week, uh, OpenAI has released some APIs related to voice as well as related to ChatGPT. So using those APIs, we can connect with ChatGPT and get our responses. Now, instead of Whisper API, which was released last week, I'm going to use Google Speech API because it is a little bit fast as well as we need not to save intermediate files. And for ChatGPT interaction, we will be using the ChatGPT completion endpoints. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing which we are going to do here is we need to convert we need to grab a voice from the mic and convert into text so we will say voice to text and once it is done we need to pass this text to chat gpt endpoint so we will say pass text to chat gpt and once we receive the response from the chat gpt we need to convert this text back to speech so that we can hear it. So these are the three main steps which we are going to do today. Let's add some code cell and start typing the code. The very first thing we need is we need to import speech recognition. And let's name it SR. Let's alias it as SR. Oops. And then we need to define a function which will extract text from voice. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll say speech recognition. And this we can create using SR recognizer. Okay, so once we got the instance of speech recognition, we need to read the voice from the source which is our microphone so that you can do it using sr.microphone as source so if you have multiple sources then definitely you can define which source you want to use as the input for me it is just one so i'm going with this one And once this is done, we will create a variable name audio and we'll say speech recognition dot listen. So it will take our voice and we need to define the source. And I will quickly say the phrase limit, like how much pause I want at the end. So let's keep it two as of now. And once it is done, we need to just extract that out. So let's put here track block. And inside the try block, we will say audio underscore text, which is what we are going to extract. And we'll say speech recognition dot recognize. And herein, we can quickly define audio, which we just grab from about step. And we'll quickly add our accept block accept exception as e and then we'll print exception here so even you can use f block uh, f string here to frame this thing but i'm just going with the simplest one okay once this is done what we can do is we need to return the string which we just extracted out of it so we will say audio underscore text okay and before that let's add uh, some default value to this variable in case if user doesn't speak anything then our system should not break so let's assign it to empty okay let's build it and see how is it okay i will quickly go ahead and test this one and let's do this Uh, so for testing we can add some print statement here and if you are sure that it's going to work no need to add it so print audio text let's run this let's run this hello i'm doing good and you can see that you got the response here hello i'm doing good so it means our api is working perfectly all right let's delete this 
and next we are moving on to how can we interact with chat gpt okay so for interacting with chat gpt we need a few things here the first one is i would say let's import pi tt sx3 which is text to speech so this is the one api which we need and then we need to import open ai obviously then we need the our api key so as of now i have stored it in my configuration file so i will quickly import that here configuration okay once these are imported we can say open ai dot api key equal to configuration dot open api underscore key okay so once these things are done let me quickly execute this cell so it is saying configuration has no attribute let me quickly verify it once it should be open ai okay so now we are done with this next thing is we need to define the structure how we are going to interact with our chat gpt completion endpoints so the very first thing is we need to define the messages so messages is nothing but you need to specify what role you will be playing and what role chat gpt has to play so here we will say role and this is in the form of key value so definitely a uh, dictionary so here you need to say you are the system it means the chat gpt we are saying you are the system and content what we want is like we want chat gpt to behave like an interviewer so let's say you are a strict interviewer let's see how it works so definitely you can put anything you are assistant you are teacher you are a, whatever you want basically so i'm going with this particular phase and then i'm going to create a function which will interact with chat gpt so let's quickly create this function here and i have defined message messages here so let me pull it here global messages okay now we want this entire like chatting thing to be in infinite loop so that's why i am saying while true so until it is false let's keep going and then we will say what would be the user text so user text would be the same thing which we extracted out of our microphone so let's call our function here so this will give you what user spoke then the same message we need to append messages dot append so we can maintain the context so what chat gpt is saying what we are saying as a user we need to club all those messages so again as a user you need to define your role for the very first time so let's say here role is user and content would be content would be the user text which we just extracted in about statement okay now we are done with this let's go ahead and grab the response for chat gpt has to say so we will say open ai dot completion endpoint which is chat completion dot create and inside this you need to pass the model so model name is this thing you can grab it from the documentation like what is the model name and all but for me i'm aware so i'm directly typing it over here so model is gpt 3.5 hyphen turbo and then you provide your messages so here we go so next thing is we need to extract the reply what chat gpt is saying so we will say reply response dot choices so it uh, chat gpt will provide you response in certain json format so you need to see which one you want so if you are not sure what is the response you can definitely go ahead and print this so you will get to know the entire skeleton of the message 
but for me i'm directly typing typing it over here message dot content so this will give you what is the reply from chat gpt okay now we want this particular thing to be converted to speech so for that we need to uh, initialize our speech engine so perhaps i can do it here so engine which is from this particular module and we'll just call it in it let me run it once so that we don't miss anything okay once this is done we can quickly go here and say okay just speak this text for me so we'll say engine dot say and what it needs to say is the reply okay and now it's just a matter of calling this particular api run and wait okay and once this is done we will go ahead and append this message again because we want to maintain this chain so let's say append and here oh, sorry here we need to say role and role would be what you can call it assistant interviewer whatever you want so let's say interview let's call it interviewer here and then i would say content equal to reply did i miss something okay we are done so this thing will keep running all these statements will keep running until the statement is false so let's get it run into an infinite loop as of now now let's say if you want to stop this then definitely you can print message something like let's see before that let's test it using okay let me quickly type it here so if thank you for your time appears in reply or thank you appears in user text it means we want to just end this conversation here itself so let's give it break so that we will be out of this loop okay so once this is done the only thing which we need to do is we need to use the system so I would say, let's give some message to user, say something and I will call this API interact. Okay, so we are kind of done. Let's go ahead and try this out. Hello, I'm ready for the interview. Great. Can you please introduce yourself and tell me about your background and qualifications? So I am a computer science student which recently passed from a college and I do not have any working experience as of now. Oops, looking like something broke. Let me quickly fix this. Interviewer, okay, we need to, okay, by mistake I added. So we need to define any three or one of these. So it should be assistant in our case that's my bad let's do it again hello i'm ready for the interview great let's get started please state your name and introduce yourself i'm shweta and i'm working as a software engineer hello shweta nice to meet you can you please tell me a bit about your current job and what you do on a day-to-day -day basis yeah, so actually I do not like to work, so I just... I apologize for interrupting, but could you please provide me with a more detailed answer? As an interviewer, I need to understand the responsibilities and tasks you perform in your current job. I don't do any job as of now. I see. Please tell me about your educational background and any internships or relevant experience you have had. Is it mandatory to speak about all these things? Of course, you can take your time to gather your thoughts and information. Whenever you are ready to continue, let me know. Uh, I think I'm ready. Let's, let's go ahead.
so like this is how a conversation will keep going and I hope you got an idea what we are trying to achieve here. So rather than typing, you can just see how things are going and how you can speak with ChatGPT. So hope you find this thing useful. So this is just an idea. Definitely when you are building your own app, you need to put so many checks here and there. So you can see that right now it failed because there are so many checks which we need to apply over here. We need to handle exception. Uh, we need to do exception handling and lot many things. But this demo was just to give you a gist of what we can do and how we can speak to chat GPTI rather than typing. So I hope you enjoyed this and thanks for watching.